Именно на этом месте в It was at this spot in 1941 where at once the Nazis shot at several Romani encampments. Now there is a Romani cart memorial here where the annual Roma Genocide Remembrance Day is commemorated. Near the monument over 100 people gathered, among them members of the Romani community, Ukrainian officials, diplomatic envoys, social activists, as well as actors from stage and film. The organizer of the commemoration is Ihor Krakonov. He is a Ukrainian director of Romani origin and holder of the title People's Artist of Ukraine. He says every year the tragedy at Babinya strikes close to home. He says my wife's pregnant grandmother and her sister were expected to be shot. Her sister sang very well. She said, well, we will be shot at the same time, so let's sing for the last time. And she began to sing. At that moment, it was like a cry from the heart, because there was a lot of negative things inside her. And when she began singing, a Gestapo officer took her pregnant grandmother and her sister who was singing. They were given a piece of bread with lard and kicked out. In the evening, her grandmother gave birth to my wife's uncle. The exact number of Romani victims of the Holocaust is still unknown. According to various data, it ranges from 200,000 to one and a half million people. Some historians say Ukraine honors those who died differently to other post-Soviet countries. If to this researcher says in other countries they still prefer to speak of heroes, of self-sacrifice, of man as a cog in the system, and of patriotism as the highest value that redeems all suffering. But in Ukraine, during the years of independence, we talk about victims, about ordinary people, and how they suffered and why they were killed. Today's event, in my opinion, is very important, and being a representative of Israel that suffered the same fate as the Roma, it is very important to talk about it. Rani Romani, a Romani poet, cannot hold back the tears. She says she wants to pay tribute to the memory of her ancestors. We've commemorated this Memorial Day of the dead, the innocent, murdered Romani people. And now my heart is at ease. That is, I did what I planned to do. We pay a visit here every year. Even after World War II, the Soviet leadership refused to acknowledge the Nazi extermination of ethnic groups, including Jews and Roma. Yet, since Ukraine's independence in 1991, the government and civil society has worked to make sure that Romani communities and other victims who were killed at Babinyar are never forgotten.